Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, the R and the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am here to talk about Black Sun by Rebecca Rowanhorse. This book was published in October 2020. From the get-go, this cover caught my attention, and it kind of made things interesting with my relationship with this book, because I read this cover as science fiction. And even reading the description, when it talked about ships, I because th uh, this cover screams science fiction for me and not fantasy, I thought those ships were spaceships. And then I started reading this book. This is a case of when you don't search out information about a book before you read it, you might have very different ideas going into it. This book is actually a Mesoamerican fantasy. And we follow three points of view primarily. About halfway through the book, we pick up a fourth one. And so we're following Shiala, Serapio, Naranpa, and then the fourth that we pick up is Okoa. The main city that we are in is Tova, and it is a city that is built into the cliffs. So it's high up. Earlier in their history, there has been a war between different religious factions, and that is where Naranpa is. She is the sun priestess or sun priest. I guess they don't call her priestess, they just call her priest. Her goal in this book is to restore the priesthood to the glory and power that they previously held. Shiala is what they call a teak. She has relations with the sea and mermaids, and she's a ship captain. And then Serapio is a traveler whose mother was very religious, so he's traveling from Obregi, but he, we pick up with him in Kukola, and he's trying to go to Tova, and he actually meets up with Shala because she becomes she becomes the ship captain of the ship that's taking him to Tova. And then we meet Okoa later on. He is a member of the Carrion Crow, and he's at a he starts off at a warrior college, but then comes back to Tova later on. And since this is a fairly new book, I don't want to do spoilers, so I'm just going to try to do this spoiler free. So this is a book that is interesting. Some things really worked for me and some things didn't. Overall, I felt like Black Sun had two stories in it that were squished together. And because they were squished together, neither of them were fully developed. With these two storylines, both could have been excellent stories on their own. And honestly, they could have ended up being companion stories just written in different books ending at the same point. But that is not what the author chose to do. And I feel like it suffered for having these two storylines. For the majority of the book, I was more interested in Shiala than Nara, and I didn't feel like I got enough time with Shiala to really explore her personality. And yes, she was traveling for a lot of the book, but there were different things that happened that I wish we had more of. I know Rhea over at the book Finch was asking me how I was enjoying Black Sun and I told her I was really frustrated with Nara and she goes yeah she goes she's a little bit of a more passive character and then she really opened up and explained Nara to me and that helped me so much better to engage with her I feel like Nara I really feel like Nara deserved a book of her own and I feel like that book should have started to show kind of where she came from how she had molded herself to fit into the society and then they talk they keep talking about oh it was such a surprise that she was the one chosen as heir have us show us that that would be interesting and instead they kept talking about the past and they kept talking about a relationship and you didn't really get to see her, the relationship with the people around her and so i felt like those things suffered I also was not a big fan of the structure of this book. I know at the beginning of each chapter it would say how many days until the convergence, but when you're jumping back and forward in time, it just became very hard to keep the sequence of events confused. And I feel like it took away from the impact when you finally got there. You're like, well, we all knew we were gonna get there eventually, but because chapters and days were out of order, for me, it took away from the impact of this book. So my favorite thing about this book was the world building. You could tell the care and the attention to detail. 
and how everybody was made to be a unique part of this society. And I really loved it. And for that reason, I am definitely going to be reading the sequel as soon as I can when it comes out because I want to have more in this world. I want to explore more. I'm not necessarily involved with these characters, but I do want more of the world. I think Rebecca Roanhorse has a strong writing style that I really am enjoying, which does make me want to read more of her work as well. I just feel like the plot let her down in this instance, trying to do too many stories at once, not giving those storylines the ample time that they actually needed to work. So in the end, I gave this book a four stars. And if you have read this book, please let me know what you think. Um, I have enjoyed getting to talk to some people before I finished the book about this, because it really did help me to continue to push through the parts that I, were, I was having a hard time with. So please leave your comments down below. Thank you and have a good day.